Here's Dr. Rackett, intermediate student with Lambda. I'm going to require picturing programs and I'm going to define a few images to work on. Run that, read in the definitions, type Control D to get the whole real estate for interactions. S is a tiny 3x3 three three green square. I can look at the list of colors that make up S using Image to Color List. There are nine colors. Each has first a red intensity, then a green, then a blue intensity, finally the opacity. I can get at a single one of those colors, since they're in a list, using the list function listref. This gets at the fifth color in the list. See, it has a red component of zero, a green component of 255, blue of zero, and opacity of 255, or very opaque. I can get at simply the green portion of that color using color green. Color green is 255 or maximum green. Remember Pingu. Pingu has a width. Let's type that properly. Pingu is 192 dots wide. Pingu has a height. Pingu is 262 dots high. Pingu also has a list of colors and we could get at them the same way as before with image to color list and then we can pack them back up into an image using color list to bitmap. When we pack them up, we have to give a width and height that multiply to the same result as 192 times 262. That's not too interesting. That's Pingu again. However, we could double the width and have the height. There we get a short wide Pingu. Or we could have the width and double the height. A tall, skinny Pingu and a bit distorted at the same time. Remember Blinky. Blinky also has a width, the height, and a list of colors. We can operate on those individual colors by defining a function that takes a color, C, and produces a new color using it. This new color just copies the red portion of C copies the green portion of C, but for the blue portion, it takes the average of 255, or maximum blueness, and the old blueness in C. Then for the opacity, we just copy the opacity or transparency of C. Here's what Bluer does on a single color. Nothing changes except that third number is suddenly somewhere between 150 and 255. Now we can map Bluer onto every color in Blinky, and Map Image will pack it all up into a new Bluer Blinky. We can do similar sort of vandalism by swapping the red and blue portions of each color. So we make a new color. The blue goes where the red is supposed to go. The old green color goes in the green slot. The old red color goes in the blue slot. And then we just copy the alpha or the opacity. Now we can map swap red blue over every color in Blinky using map image. Oops, I better move my cursor past the parentheses, and there is a swapped blinky.